Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a comma. Let's first see what a comma is. According to the Chicago Manual of Style, the comma indicates the smallest break in sentence structure. It usually denotes a slight pause. Effective use of the comma involves good judgment with the goal being the ease of reading. What does that mean? It means that when you're writing sentences or clauses or phrases, um, sometimes those parts are far from each other. There we put just a dot, we finish the sentence, goodbye. But sometimes those parts are close to each other. In those cases, we use a comma to separate the sentences. It's the easiest explanation of the use of a comma. Now let's see some simple sentences. In my opinion, she will accept the job. Let's look at the first part. It says, in my opinion. First, I'm trying to make it understood that I'm talking about my thought, not somebody else's. In my opinion, what? Then I have to give the opinion, right? This is the opinion part. She will accept the job. So. Those are two closely related things. First, I'm expressing that I'm going to give my opinion, then I give my opinion. They are close to each other, so I connect them with a comma. Another technique, and this one helps me a lot, and I'm sure it will help you greatly. Just read the sentence, and wherever you stop while you're reading, put a comma. Look, I say, in my opinion, she will accept the job. You see, I pause there. I don't read it like, in my opinion, she will accept the job. No, this is robotic, right? We don't speak like this. We go like, in my opinion, she will accept the job. You see, there was a pause there. Wherever there is a pause, put a comma. Example number two. Considered from a biological viewpoint, the theory is credible. I don't read it like, considered from a biological viewpoint, the theory is credible. I don't do this. This is not natural, right? This is a robotic reading. The human reading is considered from a biological viewpoint. The theory is credible. So there should be a comma. Example number three. In today's world, humanity has lost its meaning. Again, I don't go like, in today's world, humanity has lost its meaning. This is too fast. This is not natural. The natural way is this. In today's world, the first part, closely related to the second part, we are saying, look, in today's world, but in today's world, what? I have to say something. In today's world, X is Y. Let's see what that part is. The part is humanity has lost its old meaning. They are close. We cannot separate them. If we separate them, it would be like meaningless. In today's world, boom. So what? In today's world, there has to be something. In today's world, comma, humanity has lost its meaning. Pay close attention to this and it will help you greatly. Just read the sentence and see where you are pausing automatically and in a natural way. Put a comma there. It's not going to help you in 100% of the cases, but it's a good place to start. There are many videos coming about comma there are different uses of comma and it's a very important and professional punctuation to use. Stay tuned.